Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Gaming Critter, the most delicious critter of them all. Today we're going to take a look at the new gala units that have been announced today. And I'm saying we, and I don't mean myself and you guys who are watching, but also my buddy Orthodox is here to talk with me about the new units. Hey guys, my name is Orthodox. Uh, I'm joining Quite for the first time. We're doing a collab, should you summon, uh, yes. before a possible collab. Should we summon? <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe we will summon. We, we will talk about it at the end of the video, maybe, <laughs> or <laughs> while, while looking at the the units. So I would say let's uh, get right into it and take a look at the main unit, I guess, of this event for most people. Not for me, to be honest, but for most people, it's Galaxy. So yeah, she <laughs> she's a. I mean, her art is really nice. <laughs> And she is a fire dagger. What do you think about that? I definitely didn't see it coming. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised, but I'm also relieved it's not another flame sword. <laughs> what? Why so, not? I mean, we could need If I have one. to build another flame sword, oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> yes. And her 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 kid is really interesting, and obviously. Um, relates to the to the newest chapter we got with the Eden mode. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess what we can do is we can just run through her skills. Um, yeah. Kind of talk about them too. Um, okay. Do you want me to run through her skills? Uh, yeah, sure. You, you start with it. Okay, sure. Sure. Okay, so for, so for skill one, we have is Code 14 Conviction. Uh, this is a shareable skill at cost of skill five. It deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead. If this skill is used during Eden mode, a variant called Eden Code 5. Girva? Givura? Uh, Givura? Giv Givura? I, don't I, I know. You know, please don't flame me for the pronunciation. That's, that's crazy. I, I don't even know where, where the, the origin is that. But that version will be used instead. And this version deals flame damage to enemies and inflicts burn. So she's not so. initially a flame uh, enabling unit, but when she's in the Eden mode, she is. Interesting, yeah. That also makes it so that um, the shared version is just damage. Yes, so uh, you since, can Since the shared user won't be able to use uh, Eden mode. Yes. Okay, interesting. And then the second skill here is Eden mode. Uh, grants the user a fig effect. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> um, activates Eden mode for 20 seconds. During Eden mode, Fig will automatically attack foes, so it looks like it's a like a companion. Yeah. I think in, in her image there was like a circular droid that there follows around is... her and like shoots like a gun or something. Oh uh, yeah, it's not on the on the art I can see it. We can straighten now, but yeah. yes. Um I think in the video they show it briefly. Um this automatic damage will be not treated as skill damage. Uh if this skill is used during Eden mode, a variant called Eden Code One Keter or Keter will be used instead uh this damage this will instead uh deal flame damage to enemies directly above this this is really interesting that the automatic damage is not treated as skill damage because that means that like you, dragons like konohana sakia might actually not good be good on here but i mean sure obviously everyone just uses mars anyway so but right um, yeah she, she she's not good for this but I'm really interested yeah, well, about this whole whole fic thing. Like, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm excited to see like a companion effect. It, it kind of gives me that uh, like a ranger vibe where you have like a pet. Yes. Um, alongside like your actual kit, so your damage is kind of being split in that way. Yeah. Um, it's then, definitely interesting because if it's treated as standard damage, going to her co ability, yes. her co ability is standard attack damage 20%. And this is the first time we've seen this um, aside from Tiki. Yeah. So and she's now, a super limited unit, so right. So so now it's it's no longer um, you know as rare. Yeah, uh, it's, at least it's, it's, it's on flame now. Semi limited now, and it's on flame, yes. Mm -hmm. Which is nice because now you have the flame. Uh, you know, above ten hits equals wind res ten is is okay. I mean, it's yeah. not amazing, but it counts yeah. for something. Yeah. Um, I guess moving into her abilities to see how things work out. She has uh, the first one is Resident Hearts two. <laughs> it's a it's a Grant's... Yu -Oh card. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Grants Laxia charge gauge with three bars. The charge gauge fills when standard attacks, four strikes, and dash attacks are used. Um, and grants cumulative buffs for Laxia depending on the number of bars filled. One bar increases defense by 20%, two increases attack skill damage by 15%, and filling three bars increases strength by 15%. 
Uh, charge gauge will not fill when she has the fig effect, and the gauge will be reset and all of the buff above buffs will be lost when fig effect is removed. So basically this means that you, in, if I understand this correctly, you should f first fill up the bars. Like, I'm sure it will be similar to Gala Alex's bar. You fill up the bars, and then you go into the, the Eden mode, and then you just go wild. Like, this is how I understand it. Yeah, definitely. And it's interesting because um, skill 2, right, activates Eden mode and exactly. gives you fig. Yes. And then both of your skills become damage or more damage heavy. Because um, then, of course, skill 2, still being within Eden mode, um, is now more damage. Yes, exactly. So. Oh, yeah, sure, you can. Oh, no, I, I, I completely misunderstand this. Yeah, sure, you could run Konohana Sakya because this runs. This does feel flame damage. Yeah, sure. Oh, jeez. It'll be interesting, though, because yeah. um, her, her final skills... So she has Mana Kiln, right? This is kind of Gala-unique, or I guess Gala-centric, where it's reducing susceptibility to stun and sleep by 100%. Yeah, so Gala Cerise the same. Gala Cerise. I'm not sure if it's, if it's the same name, but it's the same effect. Yeah, I think hers is like um, Sylvan or, Spirit or something. Yeah, something or like that. Forest something, yeah. Um, and then finally, she has Critical Frenzy 2, uh, increases crit rate by 4% for every 15 hit combo up to 3 times per combo. Adds 4% to the modifier applied to critical damage each time one of the user's attacks is a crit up to 10 times per combo. Um, activating this crit damage increase will not activate again for 1 second. <laughs> These buffs are removed when the count combo counter resets. So that's crazy. Yes, um, because dagger units already have a pretty high combo count and with the fake it will probably be way easier to, to increase the combo count because that's just attacks even when you don't attack, at least if I understand it correctly. Right, right. Now, it says that the buffs are removed after the combo resets, so that means that um, after 45 hit combo, you have the ability to increase your crit rate by 12%. Um, yes. And then additionally, uh, it's 10 times per combo for crit mod. So you would do... Wow, 150 hit combo will give you a 40% crit mod permanent. That's crazy. Is what I'm looking at for this. Now what's interesting is, the buffs being removed with combo counter resetting, we're in flame. So the good news with flame is that you can actually run Ezlith and Nobunaga because you don't have the overlapping crit coab that daggers normally have. Yes. So you could run Ezlith uh, in the back line and have combo time. And, and then you could also run Nobu. And the Agato weapon also, like tier two, also has the the ability to to increase the combo time. Oh, that's true. You're so right. You're right. You're it, right. It, it it should be actually more difficult to not have this on <laughs> when you have a tier two weapon. Right. And, right. And these these units, like Nobunaga, having Nobunaga might be a bit difficult, but mm -hmm. having Asolith is probably not that difficult. Yeah. The final thing I think though that would be really synergistic with her kit is going to be uh, Catherine's shared skill. Uh, it hits 42 times, so that would immediately give her full access to the, her crit buff oh, on, on yes. Critical Frenzy 2. Yes. And it would also give her um, four, uh, so 16%, so four stacks of her crit mod uh, bonus. So, and that's on, that's on like a, um, I think it's 4,000 SP. Yeah. Uh, be, so depending on how her SP gens, that's crazy good. I, I mean, I could see that being a, a standard skill for, for Galaxy just to get her combo count. Uh, Up immediately. <laughs> like, yeah. A lot. I mean, we, we don't know. I mean, cause, because Fig is completely new. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't know, like, if she's going to have more of a unique auto pattern than just a regular dagger. Um, so I guess things to consider would be mods, That's and true. then what her attack pattern is. Yeah, I, I didn't even think of the, the fact that they may be doing the same with, uh, like, Escala Laxi, where they completely change her, her, her auto attacks. Which mm. would make sense, because she's actually using two daggers in her, her art, so maybe she yes. will actually use two daggers in her fight fighting style, which would right, be right. awesome. And of course, the in the model they they even have her blade floating behind her. So yes, it's kind of uh, like a near automata. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, that's pretty cool. Completely near automata in this bitch now. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Well, yeah. so uh, so are you going to summon for Galaxy? I think yes. I think uh, the verdict for me is the unique fig effect um, and the dual resistance along with um, herself buffs. I, I, she looks really fun. Um, yes. So, so I think I think the verdict for me is, uh, you know, 
it's going to be a yes. Uh, yeah. I think the co-ability also kind of sinks it. Where yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to say. I think that, like, if you even if you're not interested in her kit or her character, I think the co-ability is what makes her really, really interesting. And I think you really should summon for her because standard attack plus twenty percent actually doesn't sound too much, but it it really helps doing like like it adds up the more you attack and you do auto attacks a lot. So. Yeah, right, I'm, I'm, right. I wasn't interested in her, to be honest. I was like, nah, okay, Laxi's cool, but I'm not interested in a Gala Laxi. Well, mm -hmm. that has changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, then I guess the final thought on her is um, having the done the, the flame tier list, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, well, th yes, the thighs, definitely. <laughs> they, they fit in there. <laughs> yes. In the, in the flame tier list, um, you know, the, given the fact that she's dual res, uh, lets her fit on any team composition for yeah. Master Volk. Exactly. Um, so I really could see her, especially if her mods are strong, which she's a Gala unit, so I'm hard-pressed to see her mods be poor. Uh, I guess we have seen it in the past, but I don't see it necessarily being now with Marth being in the same element. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I see her being uh, a contender for a, a top-tier flame unit yeah. uh, for Master Volk. Yes, I think so the same, especially because of the, the dual resistance and the standard. Attack yes. damage buff. Jeez. She really looks more interesting than I thought. Gonna be honest. Even though I don't yeah. think her shareable skill will be interesting. But, eh. Sure, they need to make something shareable for her, I guess. <laughs> so, I think that wraps Galalexy up. And now, um, the next thing is something I'm very, very, very excited for. And it's... Summer Sinoa, she's also on this banner. Uh, please note that only Galaxy is semi-limited and the following units are not going to be limited. They will be added to the permanent pool. So you may not go too hard on them, but I mean, Summer Sinoa, just look at her. How can you not go hard for her, if you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know I will be, so. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna, just going to talk about her. She's a, she's a wind staff. I always get those mixed up. It's a staff, right? Oh, it's a wand. A wand. Oh, jeez, I always get those uh, mixed it up. It is a wand, yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. A, she's, she's a wand unit, a, a the, wind um... wand. The staff is like the it's like a shepherd's cane. Yeah, I know. I just right, the, I can the never hook. get the the, the 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 words right. But eh, whatever. Oh, um, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I so, get you. <laughs> so she's wind wand, and she, her art is just mwah, chef kiss. She's she's really beautiful, and she got buffed. Let's just say that. And yes. her first skill is Chrono Trial. It's a shareable skill that costs six skill points. She deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies, draws them together, inflicts poison and grants the user one stack of overload. Overload decreases the skill gauge fill rate for the Chrono Trial skill by 30%. Overload can stack up to three times and it's not removed by shapeshifting. That's actually super interesting that it's not removed by shapeshifting because a lot of stacks are. And just going over to Praising Summerer her second skill it consumes all stacks on of overload and applies one of the following buffs at random to the user for each stack of overload consumed increases inspiration by two stages adds 15 percent to the modifier applied to critical damage for 30 seconds increases critical rate by 20 percent for 30 seconds the same buff will not be granted multiple times by one use of this skill if this skill is used when the user has three stacks of overload all three buffs will be granted to the entire team if this skill is used when the user has no stacks of overload, one random buff from the above will be granted to the user. So, super interesting kit, and I'm really interested to see how much the skill rate, uh, the fill rate for the skill one will be slowed down after you use it once. Yeah, I think initially when I had read this, I, I thought this would be an increase to your skill fill rate. Um... As in, like this, as in the overall cost of the skill would be decreased by thirty percent, and that would stack. Um, now, re-reading it again with you, obviously, it's decreasing that skill fill. Um, so it's initially, slower, right? I, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I had thought initially, you know, oh yeah, we'll run Freya, right? And then uh, Freya will increase skill fill by thirty-five percent. But after using Chrono Trial the first time, uh, you're effectively negating. Uh, the uh, the effect uh, yes. or the effectiveness of the skill fill from her. Yes. Um, also, as a shareable skill of cost six, 
this has to be a really strong skill. Yeah. Um, at least damage wise. I mean, if, if you if you use this in in I mean, obviously not when you play Agato or Hide Dragons, but in a mm -hmm. oh, what are they called? United Front event. This might actually be cool because you like draw them together and and and, and do a lot of damage. So right, maybe right. For that, yeah. it's good. I worry about um, so so the overload stack is built into the normal skill. It's not built into to a passive of 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 Sonoa's. Yes. Um, so that means that if you share this skill, the overload stack will be given uh, on the shared skill. And then we've seen in the past that shared skills have high SP costs. Um, so depending on the SP cost of this skill, it may become increasingly difficult to fill. Uh, considering that there's no way to cleanse the stacks, yes. which means that each time you use it, it's going to get substantially harder to yeah, fill. Yeah, I, I, I do not really understand why you should share this yet, but maybe there will be some use. Uh, maybe maybe like you just don't get the stack and you can, can just use it to inflict poison. So right, right. That, that or or for the utility of drawing units together. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, you know what? Actually, in in high mercury, this could be cool if you if you actually want to kill the rats. Yeah, I was that thinking for good. the wolves too for Volk. You want to um, use Sonoa and Vol oh yeah, as a shareable skill, right? Well, the shared skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, that's right. So there's some some utility. I, I guess where that's going to come down to for the shared skill is uh, the modifications, right? How much damage it deals, and then what the SP cost is overall. Yes. Um, and then on skill two, uh, she's the first unit in wind to do inspiration. Yes, exactly. And um, like two stages doesn't sound like a lot, but yeah. She... Again, it's probably going to determine like what the SP cost is. Because yes. imagine bracing summer is super super low on SP cost. Yes. Um, she could always be giving those buffs to herself. Again, the cool part is they kept uh, the randomized RNG rolling of her buffs. Yes, that's what I really liked about her original kit. So this is really cool. But now you can like, you can you, if you want to, you can just just I, I'm saying just uh, fill up all of the stacks, and then you can use skill two and buff your entire team. You can give inspiration to your entire team, and right. this is really really crazy. Especially if yeah. you have like a, a Lin Yu on your team, mm -hmm. and you can just increase her critical damage by fifteen percent and her critical rate by twenty percent. Like, phew! I'm I really hope that I will have a Summer Sinoa on my team when I play Lin Yu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there's other ways to to kind of go around this. I mean, you could technically be using like Castle Cheer Core um, ways to forcibly fill your your Chrono Trial. Yes. Um, so you could fill this first skill normally, right? And then after the skill fill decreases, you could use four strike charges. Oh, that's that's a good um, idea. Yes. To fill the second gauge, and then it's just or or you wait till the the third gauge, right? Which would be the hardest to fill, and then yes. you four strike it through. Oh, that's a good um, idea. Because the thing is, is it's thirty seconds on these buffs. Yes. That's a long time. That's yeah. a very long time. And I'm pretty sure um, if you have like a Tobias on the back line and a Summer Estelle, that gets even longer. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, she, yeah, she does have Tobias as, as well, which is yeah, that's that is pretty nice. I mean, that's thirty six seconds. Yes. Um, Summer still, I don't think would work because um, she would be uh, chain co ability for water. But, oh right. Uh, but I Tobias forgot. is is ultimately the best buff You're timer, right. and yes. he's in element with her. Um, I forgot that it's so... um, like locked to to water. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, although the the interesting part is 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 if we keep going down on her kids. Yeah, so that's she has what I wanted to skill. do. Uh, say like she has skill oh, damage sure, fifteen, um, chain core ability. Like her core ability and her chain core ability aren't really that interesting. Mm -hmm. And but what's interesting is her determination skill. Yes. And I think this is for her. She may do a lot of damage with that. Um, it's increases damage dealt by the skill Chrono Trial based on the number of overload stacks the user has. The first stack will increase damage by 20%, but with each additional stacks increasing damage by 5% each. She has a freeze res resistance of 100%. And this is the interesting part. Skill damage plus 30%. So if I'm reading all of this correctly, she may hit hard extremely hard yeah. <laughs> like well the the goal would be right is um with candy couriers having built-in break damage yes the goal would be to hit a three stacked uh chrono trial on break um well that and or having bracing summer 
live because if you get the inspiration stack plus the crit mod plus the skill yes on on break especially with the 30 percent skill damage yes that's all that's really crazy. good stuff yes um I, I, it I is just, only. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. I'm I just want to say that I'm. I'm. I, they may. She may not have the craziest mods on on the the Chrono Trial because in her kit itself she already has a skill damage plus forty five percent built in. So that's kind of worrying me when it comes to sharing Chrono Trial because they need to 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 tone down the damage mods on Chrono Trial to not make her completely OP. Yeah, I, and I think that may be um, actually. I think that may be the the fact that it fills right slower. Yes. Uh, per stack, that may that might be their version of tuning it because that, that be, carries yeah. over in the shared skill. Yes. Uh, as well, I have high hopes for this Chrono Trial being a massive nuke. Yes, I mean the picture um, is literally a nuke. Right. Yes. If you, it think, is. If you look at it, it I mean, it's you're a right. Nuke. Yes. <laughs> so, and she's she's and, known for nuking stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, and that kind of feeds into this new meta that we're entering, where um, the break damage is becoming more and more important uh, as 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 time moves on. Yeah. Um, you know, especially with candy couriers, I mean, getting the forty percent, um, that's also really, oh, really yeah. solid. Crazy. Jeez. Um, She's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, super, I mean, I, shared skills could be really good on her too. I don't know. Yes. Uh, what? I mean, uh, what could? Who could you use? Like, I mean, if you use Ranzel that's a good skill always a good skill to use especially right. with the with the 30 percent skill damage increase so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i can't think off the top of my head oh, anything you that know, really screams it you know yeah, go ahead. you know what what screams it um my my my, my favorite uh, shared skill uh durand like if you actually want to oh. go nuke on her then you you wait until break you use durand's skill which is i think 40 percent strength increase or was it yeah, 30? It is, yeah. I think it's 40. Yeah. And I mean, I, I use this tactic on Chrome, and it, it's it's amazing to just go boom. I, I've hit almost 2 million um, with with Chrome skill. And this might actually be... A, maybe she can use Durant's skill too. But I'm, I don't want to want to promise it, so we'll have to see. <laughs> but yeah, yeah we'll good. definitely see. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if her skill one is right, uh, not where most of her damage is coming from, and it's autos, then like she'll also get a lot of bonuses from strength too. So we'll have to yes. see. So, um, are you going to summon for her? I mean, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I will be. I, th yes. I mean, there's there's two obvious reasons um, to yeah. summon for her. I mean, I, it's, <laughs> it's four for me when I look at it correctly. I mean, oh well, yeah, yeah. If you I, know, see where, you know, I see where you're coming from. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And then um, the other thing is, is you know, she has the unique inspiration for for wind. Um, granted, we we don't know how how uh, efficient this will be for stacking. But the thing is, is no one says you can't run multiple Sonoas. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I mean, that's right. If you look at the if you look at the team composition for for Mitsuba cheese, where Mitsuba yeah. is using inspiration stacks. Um, that's actually on uh, two Mitsuba, right? You, you, yes. I mean, you, you run two Mitsuba to, to get those stacks. Now, granted, she does have an ins inspiration increase by three stages, where this is only two. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's a start. I, I mean, who's to say that, that, that someone doesn't come out with a, with a strategy where it's a chrono trial, max stack, bracing yeah. summer, you and know, on yeah, break? Pe people, people are crazy when it comes to coming up with that stuff, so kudos yeah. to people who, who actually do that <laughs> so yes so I, I think um, yeah you're, you're going to summon for it i'm going to summon for it who who would have thought right <laughs> yes she is she is a good uh she is a good uh spook or collateral rate up yes. uh, on the way to pulling galalaxy so. exactly so should you summon dear viewers i'm not entirely sure i think she's a unit she could be really really good and like it's always with the permanent characters my personal opinion is always summon if you like her. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure if she will be meta defining or anything. She she does look really interesting though. What 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 do you think? Should our viewers pull for her? I, I think um, wind if she focuses more as a full buffer, um, it's going to be really hard to justify pulling specifically for Summer Sonoa, just because Tobias exists. Yes. Um, and then you also have competition from Melody, Noelle, Melody, 
Oh my gosh! I mean, look at all the buffers in Wind. Yes. I have you know Tobias, Noel, Melody, uh, Silas, um, Silas. Yes, you do have. I mean, Silas is more DPS, but yeah, he's got that. Yeah, he's got he that does, S2, also does buff. Yeah. Which is really solid. I mean, honestly, Silas might even be a good pairing for Sonoa because yeah, the skill true. haste bonus. Yeah, they might be um, actually work together very well. But yeah, I, you know, I, I think as far as it goes, um, if you have Tobias. It's really going to depend on where Summer Sanoa falls, uh, you know, in terms of how they set her. Right now, we see her as a su as a support unit. At what Dragalia Lost has determined it to be, but that only <laughs> yes. determines what her stat distribution is. It doesn't yes. actually determine what her numbers are, or her mods, or her SP costs. Exactly. Uh, so it, it may be a thing where she becomes full DPS, very selfish uh, S2s, and runs like Vayu. Um, I mean, she has innate poison. Uh, she has probably Chrono Trials. Probably going to be a huge AOE. I mean, this yeah, is speculation. I mean, yeah, just like it's um, uh, like it's written. Might be. But I think at, at, at first impression, I would say she's a hundred percent a waifu summon. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> and not a meta summon for no. wind. Yeah. Um, and I think that's fair. Yes. Uh, unless we see some crazy SP, uh, you know, and and mods. Yeah, and then... maybe someone will come up with a really crazy strat. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that Car that Karina's will be able to just nuke the the, the, the twins. So, who knows? Right, right. <laughs> well, you know, skill prep 100 is really good with four skills. Now, yes, so yes, that's true. That's also another thing that that's pretty crazy. Um, okay, yeah, I, I think that wraps it. I so to, I have to drink something real quick. Okay. Wait, how long? Oh, geez, it's already half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so much for let's make it quick. Okay. We can continue right now. Okay, so let's take a look at Norwin. Um, do you want to read it again? Sure, yeah. So Norwin is the Halidome's resident picture book author Don's Swim Trunks, putting his ability to write happy endings to use on a sunny, sunny <laughs> summer's tale. Summy. <laughs> Summy. <laughs> oh my. I'm just I'm tongue tied for Norwin at this that's, point. That's okay. The stark white page takes on the blue hues of sea and sky as tragedy gives way to joy. Like my tongue also gets numb when I look at Norwin because I'm licking my lips so much. So I'm Honestly they, they just they're so good with their summer art, you know? Like yes. <laughs> it's really, really nice. So it's crazy. His first skill is summer memories, and it's a shareable skill cost of seven. So right away it screams this has to be really good. Yes. Um, deals wind damage to target and nearby enemies activates skill shift for both this skill and the skill ephemer ephemer ephemeral ephemeral love? I don't know ephemeral love I think it's ephemeral yeah uh, but I'm sorry to butcher that. <laughs> I have no idea what that word means. I have to Google it while you're talking. Um, phase two and phase three both increase the damage dealt by this skill. Phase four does not deal damage and instead removes all stacks of doleful spirit applied by ephemeral love four and energizes the entire team that's that's so, crazy that is really really crazy this is interesting to unpack um so yeah, there's I guess a lot of to unpack probably read the second skill yes. as well by the uh, way we can ephemeral also means fleeting so it's it's fleeting love so hmm. today very you very uh yeah very very uh in line with him being an author yeah, yes having like a love story um, deals wind damage so this is uh, ephemeral love deals yeah. wind damage to target and nearby enemies and activates skill shift for both this skill and the skill summer memories phase 2 and phase 3 both increase damage dealt by this skill phase 4 inflicts poison on the foe and inflicts 1 stack of doleful spirit on the user up to a max of 4 stacks while the user has 1 or more stacks of doleful spirit they're energy level will not increase and using this skill during phase four will cause them to take damage the more stacks of doleful spirit the user has the more damage they will take stacks of doleful spirit will not be removed by shape shifting so there's a lot to unpack here <laughs> like yeah this phases is phases one to three are basically the same on both you uh, on both skills right so what's interesting is um when you go through the skills uh the doleful spirit stacks, uh, they damage you yes. when you're using skill 2. Exactly. Skill 1 will remove all the stacks, and that looks like the only way to physically remove all the stacks at phase yes. 4. Um, 
but it will also energize the whole team. So used appropriately, that's a really big bonus. That's, um, that's amazing. It's a lot of damage that you can do it like that. Mm -hmm. What's also interesting on this skill is that uh, if you share this skill, you have the ability to skill shift, and the fourth use of summer memories will fully energize the team. But you, you don't... Wait, but if you, if you skill share it, mm -hmm. you don't get stacks. Do you only get stacks from... Uh, yes, only from ephemeral, ephemeral love. You don't get the stacks for, for summer memories. Oh no, okay, you're right, yes, you're so, right. Okay, so that's, okay. that's not possible to do. Okay, good call. So, so on phase four... You will just oh, this is interesting. Oh no, you you. Uh, it's interesting to see if, if there even is a phase four. When it's you a, share it's it. inflicts one stack of doleful spirit <laughs> pain. <laughs> yes, exactly. Suddenly you get pain. Uh, I guess you will just it, you just won't deal any damage and or maybe for phase four won't exist when you share the skill. This is also crazy too because it says when the user has one or more stacks of doleful spirit, their energy levels will not increase. Oh, that's so true, any yeah. other unit that is running uh, energy is unable to give it to Norwin, from what yes. I'm understanding on this. Yes, so um, Summer, Sinoa and Norwin may not be the best pair. Uh, actually, uh, Sinoa doesn't give any energy. Oh, right, it's inspiration. Only, it's, Sorry. It's, all, yes. it's all inspiration yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, critical, yeah, yeah. which, which, I gotta would, make them, them. which yes. would make them work together actually decently well, yes. at least in that regard. Um I'm interested to see how uh, how much the shift works because there's four shifts for the two skills. Uh, so technically, if you're using both the skills, it's kind of like you use skill one, that's shift one. You use skill two, that's shift two. Skill one, shift three. And then shift four is skill two. So you'd have yes. to do two full skill one, rotations. skill two combos, rotations, yes. right, to get it. Um, just for one stack. And then you got to go through that... Um, again yeah so essentially what is that like eight rotations to do Maybe? it yeah that sounds sounds i mean it's a dagger unit so he he probably can do it pretty quickly but yeah yeah not entirely i think sure. the, the 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 speed in which that takes place uh you know at least the energizing the whole team function as long as he can get that off during break that would be most ideal um it's interesting uh, I think the next thing that's, that's kind of crazy though is he has a unique chain co ability. So crit crit rates is normal yes, co ability. Yes, that one's new. Yes. This chain co ability is really interesting to me. Um, wind above ten hits equals HP regen six. Uh, if the team member is attuned to wind, gradually regenerates their HP when the combo count is ten or higher. This is yes. crazy to me. Uh, this I think is this is really cool. Extremely crazy. Yeah. Um, this may be really good for autoing stuff. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I do. Although hopefully the AI isn't. Um, you know, questionable with their with their oh. choices if he damages <laughs> yes. himself, but uh, it, it may prove to be useful. Uh, oh, you know what I just uh, I'm seeing like mm -hmm. you. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Oh, I sure, just need to get this out because yeah. his next ability. Uh, because we were just talking about how long it will take for him to do stuff, but uh, the more energy he has, the more he he can, he the more skill haste he has. Yes, so yeah, yeah. Energy equals skill haste oh. three, yeah. yeah. Increases user skill gauge fill rate as their energy levels increases. The max bonus given when the en user is energized is 25%. Yes. Yeah. So, it may be I interesting just, that... Yeah, that, that may be to get together because the more he attacks, the more... Uh-huh. He can... Ah, oh, this is crazy. I didn't think of this. Sorry, I'm just like blown no, away right now because this, this is really cool and this is completely new. Uh, you know, I think of all the dragons that we currently have, the, the dragon that, that screams uh, Summer Norwin is, is probably Ariel, if that's the case. Oh, does she, does she energize? Um, she doesn't energize, but she gives uh, like 30% uh, skill haste yeah, and strength. Right. And strength uh, yeah. If you were going full energize plus healing, uh, it would be Freya, right? Yeah. Um, and just shifting into Freya would fully energize the whole team and Norwin, which would give him 25% skill haste, which means that his ability one and Freya together alone is going to be 60% skill haste. And then if you <laughs> added a bow works. on top of that, he'd be 75% skill haste. And then any kind of prince from there could get him to p potentially 90% skill haste. So he might just be a skill machine 
at this point, if that's how his yes. rotations look. Yes. Um, I mean, he is a dagger, which means that, you know, Summer Memories is probably like a 2k skill cost. Yeah. Um, maybe less. Um, <laughs> and he does have Poison Punisher, which is nice. It's Yeah, that's really... That's, the that's only amazing. thing I see problematic is that he's melee with Freeze Res. Um, and... This is problematic Ooh. for Ciela because the the crystal arrows uh, they bog, yeah, and it is impossible to kill the crystal arrows. Uh, it, it's actually really hard for Silas to do it, and he's a lance with freeze res, so I, mean, I feel I like this hurts him. Yeah, I, um, we have to see how how far his summer units skill goes. Like right, it just right. deals damage to the target and nearby enemies, so it may actually be kind of good for just for the arrows. But yeah, yeah I it's, think it's difficult. It's really difficult. I think so. So w there was a little video a blurb and um, of it, and basically it, it was a book opening up, and then there's yes. like little picture characters come out. Yeah. That looks like it has good range. Yeah. Um, the only problem for Norman players will be like they won't be able to use their C five or four strike on the arrow because it will immediately bog them. Um, so for future proofing, right now, uh, Expert Ciela isn't terribly difficult uh, to yes, deal with. She's pretty yet. fair, the way that she's balanced. But as we've seen from Master Kai, uh, if the decision to go with more arrows or more mechanics of that fight takes place, oh yes. um, more chances to bog will decrease the viability of Summer Norwin in the meta. Yes. So, I don't know, overall though, I mean, this happen. guy looks like he has crazy amounts of skill haste. Yes. And, and, and there are tons of skill haste dragons. Uh, you know, you have Freya and Ariel uh, in win, so... And also, he's he's cute. Yes, yes, he has that <laughs> so, he has that husbando factor, so... Yes, so... I think... Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't... Uh, if I get Sinoa and Laxi, mm -hmm. I may stop summoning... But I kind of want him, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. What, what about you? Honestly, the, the chain co ability of the HP regen has me. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. It, I don't know, like, it, 10 hits is, is, is so easy to do. Uh, and then you have all these combo counts, right? Yes. Um, now, in wind, I actually don't know. Do we have a combo counter in wind? Or, like, a combo timer? I... Don't I don't remember offhand if we so. do. No, but the we thing don't. is, is um, if you ran like a bow, for example, you, you probably would be would be okay with it, uh, or a yeah. dagger, or maybe this is why this is. Either way, um, this this chain co ability's got me interested just because it's unique. Um, aside from that, uh, I'm not too much of a fan of Norwin as a character. Um, <laughs> I, I like the design of Norwin here. Like I, I'm, I, I'm, I love I'm him. That's that's the for... problem. I like him a lot. Oh, <laughs> and then the other thing that's got me interested is this shareable cost of seven means this skill could be really good, um, at least from a damage standpoint. Yeah, especially because so, phase two and three both increase in damage. I definitely think that if I pull him, um, uh, you know, since I'm already summoning, summoning for Summer Sonoa and uh, Galaxy, as we've determined, uh, I, I definitely will be pleased. I'm not going to be disappointed by any means. Yes. Um, but he's not my main target, uh, yeah. is, is how I'll put it. <laughs> Um, like the, what I'm just noticing, like we have two new dagger units in this banner, and I can already see someone going completely wild because they got their fifth summer no win and no galaxy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm scared that will be us. <laughs> That's okay. You know, honestly, as we'll talk about in a bit, I'm going wild on this banner. So yes. So let's go uh, and talk about what you are going wild about. It's summer Konohana Zakuya. She brings a. Uh, she brings us tidings from the water's edge. She trades her robes for swimwear and a gentle scent of tropical flowers mixed with salty air to soothe the hearts of fellow beachgoers. And yeah, she looks she looks really good. I, I mean, I don't care about her kit, but her art is just beautiful. Yes, it's 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 ten out of ten. You know. Yes, and so, her, the summer heat kit, has been brought. Yeah, it's summer heat is here, <laughs> and her kit also looks really interesting. Her skill is Seashore Dance. It restores the user's HP and grants the user a smiling flower. The summer flower's ability buffs the user's user based on the number of smiling flowers they have up to a maximum of six stacks. And the summer flower's ability 
I'm going to talk about it. It's the if the user is tuned to wind, grants the user a smiling flower at the start of quests and grants an additional smiling flower every 60 seconds up to a maximum of 6. The user will receive the following buffs based on their total number of smiling flowers. If you have one flower, it increases strength by 40%, two flowers increases defense by 20, three flowers increases skill damage by 50%, four flowers reduces water damage taken by 5%, eh, and six flowers grants an HP region buff. And since you will get a smiling flower at the start of the quest, you will always have a 40% strength increase with Summer Kono Hana Sakuya. And then it only goes up from there. Yes. So interesting. So so it's interesting that they they kind of rotate uh, where there's a defensive, uh, offensive buff, then defensive buff, then offensive buff, then defensive buff, and yes. then the final one is essentially another defensive buff, right? Yeah. Um, I like that there's multiple ways to get these stacks. Uh, starting the quest is one. Uh, every sixty yeah. seconds is another, and then the final one is when you shape shift and you use the dragon skill. This so means I... that, yes, yeah. yeah the, go ahead, go ahead. The no, seashore, go ahead. seashore dance uh, restores user and grants a smiling flower. So ideally, um, with the new worm print, right? If you were going for like a full dragon haste build, yes. Considering that they have, um, you know, Dragon Yule Zane Freed that has dragon claws and skill damage built into his kit, yes. Uh, for for backline potential, you know, any character, which I guess unfortunately the only shifter that's in the meta right now for for wind is <laughs> dragon you'll say freed but yeah um, in the future or or if you're just running like <laughs> mim skillshare for example on a character i mean you could technically run mim and you skillshare for dragon gauge if you wanted to make a pseudo shifter um the uh the ability to to shift uh before the first 60 seconds would allow you to get stack one and then at 60 seconds at least then you'd get stack two um which remember and it just goes on from there, yeah. Yeah, so so I, I'm torn right now because remember, 50% skill damage and the 40% strength. These are buffs; they're not auras, so they're actually calculated differently um, for the the uh, how they contribute to your DPS. Yes. Normally, the skill damages are dragons are auras, so they they work uh, additively with the worm prints. Yes. Whereas uh, Konohana would be multiplicative with worm prints. Um, as well as the the dragon claw uh, stacks too. So ah uh, yes, it no, would be I interesting to see it, yeah. um, like what they do with it. The other kind of fun thing is that, uh, and this is kind of just like whatever. I mean, it's not really that <laughs> big of a deal. But um, if you ran Cleo on the back line of a wind unit that was running Konohana, uh, yes, the the healing potency would affect the Seashore Dance, and then would also affect um, the HP the, the both, HP yeah. regen. Yeah, which yeah, you could was... which you could combo with Summer Norwin. <laughs> Uh, I was I was thinking like how often do you do you dragon in Ciela? I know I know I, I, I one most of the times once when you when she transforms, and by that time a minute may have already passed, so you have three stacks when she transforms. Ideally, yeah, I guess. yeah. In in her fight, um, in her fight from 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 how it looks is is you do get dragon uh, gauge from the crystal arrows. Um, so if your DPS oh, yeah. is high enough, you should be able to drag in during the first uh, of her little camouflage walk. I forget the name of the attack. Um, Mist Veil, I think. Yes, Mist Veil. Uh, yeah, you should be able to camouflage during that. Or, I'm sorry, not camouflage, shift during that, and then tank the purple with your dragon form. Uh, yes. And then, uh, ideally, you should have a second dragon by the, the uh, bolts from above. Um, oh, yeah, true. So, so you can if you're if you're if you're invest. focusing on farming for Dragon Gauge, you could probably go much faster because if you ran the new print, and I don't know if this is optimal, but I'm just kind of like theory crafting. Yeah, <laughs> you can get ten percent. Uh, you can get ten percent uh, Dragon Prep at the beginning, plus the eight Dragon Haste, and then you just kind of stack Dragon Haste on your other uh, chain co abilities too to increase the effectiveness of how much Dragon Gauge you get per skill. Um, but yeah, I mean. <laughs> so, so as you can see, he he already oh, already gosh, thought please. about it a lot. I, like, I'm, I'm just, I just been staring at this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's that's fine. That's fine. Like uh, we've talked about it earlier on Discord, and yeah, I know I know I know that you wanna wanna have her at, at like five copies of her. Yes, yeah. To, the to the goal the goal for the the summon accession is to get a mub copy 
uh, on day one. <laughs> Which might get very expensive. Very, very expensive. Gosh, hopefully not. But yeah, that's a, that's a <laughs> wild endeavor. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, I mean, this answers the question if you are going to summon for her. And yeah, I obviously also want her. I will not go for a map version. I'm just happy if I get her. And I mean, I wouldn't mind having more than just one copy. So I don't have to use so many sunlight stones. Mm hmm. But yeah, I hope. I, I mean, I got lucky with Garlic Headset, so maybe I won't get lucky with this one this time. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. It, it all balances out in the end with with RNG, right? <laughs> yes. So do you do you think that people should summon for this? Because I mean, on theory, you can get strength percent increases strength increased by forty percent, defense increased by twenty percent, and skill damage by fifty percent. Pretty easy, I would say. Like pretty easy and. I don't really think any dragon offers three buffs like that in right. wind, wind meta. Yeah, I mean, she she may be useful for Master Ciela when that comes out. I guess the one thing to consider for the for the the viewer, right, who's considering, you know, am I pulling specifically for Konohana, Summer Konohana? Um, we most likely have a wind uh, gala dragon coming for end of August which yes. is in like 30 days. Um, so if you're not convinced to pull for Galaxy and you know the rest of the summer units aren't limited, which means there's no reason to, to rush for them here, then uh, and, and, and you, you want to stay with a meta unit, right? Like a wind. You want to be prepared with a good wind dragon for uh, Master Ciela coming in about two months. Um, then... Ideally, I would say no. Uh, Summer Konohana is probably not worth the the Wormite or the investment, especially yes. not the stones. I really don't she, think it's worth sunstoning her. Yeah, I think she might be bait, uh, like extremely good bait. And someone is falling for the bait. I'm biting. Absolutely, I'm biting. There's there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I'm just wondering right now, how does she put on the swimsuit I, with the I, tail and all of that? I don't know. It's probably got a big and, hole in the back. <laughs> yeah, probably. Huh. Well, or at least it, it ties. It ties at the hip. See? Or, oh, yeah, so it's you're probably right. two pieces yeah, and, and it just yeah. ties. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering that. So, yeah, I, I think the same. Like, since she's not limited, like with all the summer units, I wouldn't go too hard for her. Uh, I definitely want to pick her up, obviously. So, we'll have to see for that. So, yes. I don't think you should summon the reviewers. But if you really, really like her, well, then go ahead. I mean, just look at her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think uh, then very right final verdict for for those at home uh, that are viewing. Uh, Galaxy seems good, uh, and of course, if you don't have Marth uh, or if you don't have a meta unit, she seems like a good pick to get into Master Volk with. Um, so if you don't have a, a current meta unit uh, for for Flame, I think Galaxy is is worth picking up. Also, the co ability we talked about. Yes. Um, as far as the summer units go, I think my final verdict on all of them would be summon if if you like the character, but um, in terms of their meta appearances, at, at first at first impressions, the the two new units, Sonoa, Norwin, and the Dragon, um, are gonna be a no for me for the meta uh, yeah. for Wind. But uh, that, of course, is going to change if their mods are really good or their shared yeah. skills uh, are, are, are super, super good. Yes. So. Uh, I, I have the same opinion. Like, uh, I don't think, I, I mean, I, I don't know yet, but maybe they will be super busted, actually, and define the meta from now on. But I don't think that will happen. So. Yeah, you never, you never I, know. I guess, I, it's, mean, I guess you can miss them. You don't need them. Like with most of the stuff in Tregellas, you don't need certain units to clear <sighs> stuff. So that's I, a good thing about this game. <laughs> but I need them, though. No. Yes, you, <laughs> yeah, kidding. that's 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 the problem. I need them. I need Summer Sinova. I need um, Summer Norway, not so much, but I need Summer Kono and Asaka, yeah, So Yes. In the end, so. my final verdict, only summon if you really like these units because you can clear all of the content with units that are already available and that right. you already may have so yeah i think i think this is a, this is a calculated skip um you know if you have the the, the current meta units yes. uh, yeah yeah i think so but and if the fact that if uh, these new, units are 
Oh, I mean, if you're me, I, I got to pull. Mine. No, no. I, yeah, but <laughs> if you if you, if you are new to the game, you should oh. <laughs> always use use galas to to get characters. So, yeah, the initial galas are are definitely uh, solid banners to pull. Yes. So. All right. I guess that wraps it up. I I said to Orthodox that we uh, shouldn't keep it uh, this uh, too long, <laughs> but well, here we are. Almost, I think, 40, 50 minutes, probably. Yeah, I can't so look sorry. at it right now. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's cool. I uh, I think this is more like a podcast style, so it's not yeah. really a video per se. I'm just going to put that in text at the beginning of the video, so people know already what's happening. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, and, so, and speaking of the podcast, if you guys haven't seen the the tier lists uh, podcast over on my channel, uh, definitely give it a look. Uh, we'll be looking at doing the the shadow uh, unit next. Or all the shadow units, actually. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know th things go on for for quite a, a while. We, we we go through all the uh, units and address how they work. And well, for this, it'll be Master Kai. So yes, um, Water I'm going to put flame. the link into the description below, obviously. Oh well, thank you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Water and Flame are out now. Um, looking at doing Shadow for Master Kai, and then uh, Wind coming soon as well. Uh, as we have, as we get closer to uh, to uh, Master Ciela. Oh yeah, sure. She, so. she she will be released pretty soon. No, in two months should be. Yes. Should yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. Right after the uh, the Wind Gala Dragon. Yes. So. <laughs> All righty yeah. then. Let's wrap this up before we continue talking forever. And <laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining me. Maybe we, if, if people enjoy this, we could do this more often when the new banner drops. And I had fun. This is a really cool and fun thing to do. So, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I and will always have you on my channel if you want to. Oh, bless you. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, and guys, you you actually need to go to Orthodox channel and subscribe right now if you haven't done so already because. There may appear a summoning video soon where we both summon. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, it could be good if, they, if it's there. And there might be a Mub Konohana. I don't know. My wallet <laughs> might, might come out. <laughs> there might. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you very much so much for watching or listening. And uh, we'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Do you want to say bye or not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.